We want to give a huge special shout out to all of our followers on Instagram that submitted their pictures for us to use in the mini photo printables. Thanks for sharing and just craft it. Start by taking your mini popsicle sticks and line them up so you know how big you want your camera. We use 22 popsicle sticks. So the camera body is going to look just like this. Next, we need to notch out the side so our instant mini photos can come out once we take the pictures. To make the notch, take the popsicle sticks that are in the middle of the camera, use your X-Acto knife or utility knife and carefully cut out a little notch in between the popsicle stick. So it'll be about half as long as the popsicle stick and you might need to cut it through the front and through the back and be very careful when using your X-Acto knife. And then you can just pop out the extra piece like this, and there's your notch. Now you need to make several in the middle that have a notch like this so the photo can fit in it. So only about six or seven of our popsicle sticks don't have a notch, and a few of those are gonna go at the bottom, and then all the ones with a notch will go in the middle, and then a few more without the notch will go right on top. So it looks like this. Now there's a place for the mini photo to come out once you take the picture. Glue all your popsicle sticks together. You can use a regular white glue or a wood glue. And once they're all glued together, you might need to sand it a little bit so it's nice and smooth. Take reflective scrapbook paper, turn it upside down, trace the top and bottom of the camera on it, cut it out, and then glue these pieces to the camera so the camera looks nice and shiny, just like the real one. Now take extra reflective scrapbook paper, cut it into strips, place a thick strip at the top and a skinny strip at the bottom. Cut a strip of duct tape and place it over the center of the camera. Duct tape is best because it's textured and it looks like the real thing. Any color duct tape will work. And don't forget to cut a little slit in the side of the camera so your photos can still fit. Now for the lens, you can use bottle tops, you can use buttons or beads, and you can just use one to make it look like the camera's closed, or you can stack several to make it look like the lens is open. And we painted the first cap on ours a metallic silver, just so it matches the camera. For the flash, you can use sticker gems or little gem beads. Just place it where the flash goes. And then take your metallic paper, use a hole punch, punch out a few holes, take a really tiny button, cover the button with one of these metallic circles, and then glue it on the front, and this is your power button. Take another one, glue it on the top, and this is your picture take button. Take a scrap piece of duct tape, put it on the back of the camera, and this looks like it's the door to the film on the back. Now take some of the extra little metallic circles from your hole punch, place them on the back, and this gives it added detail. Now your camera is complete. You can take a photo and get an instant mini picture. Leave us a comment and tell us what you're going to do with all these Instax mini photos.